Hello, everyone. I'm Masaki Hiramatsu, the East Asian AOMA Education and Public Outreach Officer at National Astronomical Observatory for Japan. Today, I talk about our experience of the virtual AOMA tour in VRChat, a virtual reality social platform. The key personnels of this program are Asagiri-san and Amono-san from Virtual Space Program, or VST, a group of people who are interested in astronomy and space development and actively organize events in VRChat. The COVID pandemic made forefront astronomy observatories away from the public. We can see the results of astronomy research on news, social media, and observatory website, uh, but the process of the research is not easy to see in such forms. Many observatories have organized public tours, and they provide excellent opportunities to see how astronomy research is carrying out. But the pandemic forced to suspend the public program. This is a huge loss in astronomy communication. One way to mitigate the loss is a virtual tour. Here I show two examples. The left one is a VLA Explorer made by NRAO. You can watch short movies introducing various places of the VLA. All of these, all of these are the pre-recorded videos. It is convenient because we can watch them anytime we want, but there's no bi-directional communication. The right one is a virtual tour of the ESO last year observatory. This is live streamed on Facebook and YouTube. The guide shows the omnidirectional photos of the telescopes and explains the detail. Audience can post comment and questions via YouTube chat, so there are some levels of communication between the participants and the guide. These are excellent examples but there are some difficulties in feeding the atmosphere of the observatories. So here, I report the virtual guided tour in VRChat. VRChat is a platform where people use avatars to communicate others in 3D CT worlds. Users enter the world using the head-mounted display like this, or desk desktop mode on the VRChat application. Users can construct their own worlds, and VRChat has 430,000 unique users as of May 2019. And under the pandemic, this number is growing. And this is a virtual AOMA world created by Asagiri-san in VSP. These antennas are created with Blender and Unity, mainly based on the photos of the antennas. The array configuration is based on the actual antenna pattern in 2016. Our tour was in three parts. In the first part, I gave a presentation like this to introduce the basics of the radio astronomy and AOMA and represent the research results. In the second part, I showed the participants around the virtual observatory with explaining the technical details of the array. The final session was Q&A session. This white one is my avatar based on our mascot antenna boy. And this is a photo of myself during the tour with head mounted display. This tour was in Japanese language, uh, but if you are interested in, uh, you can watch the recording of this tour on YouTube. So please use this code or search VSPA-08 in YouTube. 46 participants and one guide, myself, were in the VR chat during the tour. The tour was also streamed to YouTube. During the tour, I explained the technical details of the antenna, whole array, and how to develop and operate the array. So these uh, photos are the screenshots of the virtual tour, guiding, uh, uh, explaining about the antenna, and here is a, a Q&A session. After the tour, we asked the participants to fill out a questionnaire. Here I show the user environment. Uh, 30 participants used head-mounted display, and eight participated with the desktop mode of the VRChat application. 
So that means that these users are using the normal flat display and six watch the YouTube. The age distribution in the right hand side uh, is heavily skewed to the younger generation. And we ask the participants about the communication with lecturers and other participants. The purpose is that to uh, is to see how this immersive VR environment affected their experience. The total number of responses are not so large, the 44, uh, but the participants with head-mounted display tend to have better communication with lecturers. And as for the communication with other participants, uh, the overall communication was not that active, uh, but those who used head-mounted display seemed to communicate to a certain degree more than users in other environment. And this is naturally understood because they share the sp same space in the 3D CZ world. And the world cloud shows the response better. Here I extracted from the responses to the questions about differences from other lectures in person or online. And then I converted to English. The size of the world represents the distinctiveness of the world, uh, not just the number count of appearance in the responses. Some words show the responses to the realistic urban words, and like this. And it shows that the world itself and uh, the guided tour in the realistic world had strong impression for them. And other words, uh, these words are related to physical sensation, like walk around or approachable or across. Here I note some highlights of the survey responses. The first point is that the participants had better communication with the lecturer and other participants. Personally, as a guide, uh, I felt as if I actually guided them in a real observatory because I could feel the participants' eyes were looking at me, even they were avatars. And I could hear them letting out their own impressions. Also, participants pointed out that the closeness to the lecturer, a simple answer was, it was very easy to ask questions because I was physically and psychologically close to the lecturer. This is in contrast to the typical face-to-face -face lectures where there is a distinct difference in locations between the lecturer, one side in the room, and the audience, the other side of the room. And also, uh, this is true for conventional online events because a guide or lecturers are beyond the screen. Another point is that the participants can see the reactions of other participants, and this is very similar to face-to-face -face events. Impressive point is that uh, many words related to physical sensation appeared in the responses, such as right in front of me, right next to the telescope, and so on. This indicates that the bear tour was able to provide an experience closer to the actual on-site guided tour. The base of this is the high quality of virtual model, and the participants had a stronger impression and felt like realistic experience. Here I summarize our experience. The pandemic has greatly diminished opportunities to see the site of the cutting edge astronomy research. It prevents us from understanding the process of astronomy. So we organize a virtual AMA tour in VRChat. In the virtual tour, realistic models and explanations in details in an immersive environment evoke better communication and more realistic physical sensations, which would result in realistic experience and a stronger memory. And also, it could lead more enjoyable event and better understanding of astronomy research. This is not limited in the pandemic era. Even after the pandemic, observatory tours in the VR chat is still very significant. So we suppose that, that this uh, VR chat has a huge possibility in astronomy communication. Thank you for your attention.